The TABC Storm in blue and the Flatbush Falcons in white. Matt, how do you think about the, these teams' performances so far in Sarachek? I think that Flatbush, I think that both of these teams have played very well. Uh, I think that Flatbush has, uh, obviously they had a chip on their shoulder having lost, having lost in the Yeshiva League Championship game against uh, against Magan. Unfortunately, they could not get to the championship. They lost to Yuli yesterday. I think that TBC has been playing very well. And this should be an exciting game. The Starting for TABC, number 15, Shia Hirsch. Number 55, David Bitone. Number 43, Aiden Gurren. Number 24, Eitan Sulemanov, and number 31, Yaakov Solomon. For the Falcons, number 23, Sali Gaday. Number 24, Ronnie Shaya. Number 35, Joseph Shama. Number 12, Darren Kassin. And number 14, Isaac Cooper. Just want to remind you that these starting lineups are sponsored by the University of, by the Yeshiva University Office of Admissions. As you start your college journey, make sure you visit us online to check out all the great events and opportunities we have for YU students. Seems that we're waiting for the refs over here. Hopefully yeah. we'll be here any minute. Yeah. Flatbush is a much more senior heavy team than PVC is. Flatbush has, Flatbush has nine seniors on their team including Shia, G'day, including Shia, G'day, Cooper, and uh, Cooper, Kassin. Uh, their whole starting lineup is seniors. Uh, and TABC has, TABC only has six seniors by comparison. Tone, Hirsch, Solomon, Sulemanov, and uh, Gurren are all seniors, as well as Charlie Simmons. So yeah, now we're waiting for the refs to get underway. This game was scheduled to tip off at 9.30. Seems like uh, tip off is somewhat starting. Yeah. I don't know if this is a real one. I guess we're playing without refs. Yeah. Some uh, pickup ball action. Yeah, no. In my opinion, playing with refs is better because uh, yeah. then you have to call your own fouls. The other team's a little less aggressive. Yeah. As David Bitone gets the scoring under started for the Storm. I, maybe we have uh, our own Yael Ganauer uh, refing, it seems like. Yeah, I no, shout out to Ganauer. I, I, I don't see a whistle. Ooh. As Shia tries to get an alley oop to deep Kassin, three. deep three by Shia, no good. Picked up by Hirsch. Really going on the court. And now Sulemanov gets it. Jumper air balled by Gurin. So There's no one in the crowd right now, so I guess the, I'll say it. That was a big air ball. Yeah. Shama jumper, no good. Grabbed by Hirsch. TBC coming back up the other way. Sulemanov dribbles it up. If I, if I was flat, if I was any team on hands defense it, right now, I'd be hacking away. No one's calling hands anything. Hands it off to Yakov Solomon, who banks it. No good. Shia behind the back pass to G'day. G'day feeds Kassin, who airballs it. Huh. 
Nice lead pass for Gurin, and that will be in. So TBC takes an early 4 to nothing lead. Oh, it seems like as the, the two the refs, refs are coming in. Right now, Splash. as Gade has a three-pointer. That's good. Beton. I think he got away with the travel it's there, it Gurin, seems like. Yeah. Gurin scores a three. Gurin hit the three. And now the refs are back. Shout out to Yael Ganauer for stepping in for the first two minutes of the game. Deep three. No good. Gurin, three-pointer. That one he hits. It seems like they're restarting this game. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't see why. It, was, it looked uh, it was going great. It was a good. It, this was a good bit. Big shout out to Yael. I would not, if I was Aiden Gurren right now. I'd want my six points back on the board. Yeah. So the starting lineups are for the same Fal starting lineups, Falcons, Matt. You don't have to say them again. Just a reminder: it's Casson, Gade, Shia, Isaac Cooper, and Chama. And for the Storm, it is Hirsch, Beton, Gurin, Solomon, and Sulemanov. <laughs> Seems like <laughs> we're going on a small fifth. man jump ball with the two shortest guys on the yeah. team, and just like that, is a backcourt back violation. violation. TBC will get the ball from half court. Sulemanov, guarded by Cooper. Double team. Tries to loft it up, but Gorin picks it up. Gorin gets it down low to Hirsch. Hirsch, double team, blocked by Kassin. And now Sally Gaday off a nice feed by Ronnie Shia. Gets the scoring started for the Falcons. Uh. Solomon, three-pointer, off the backboard, picked up by Gaday. Gaday tries to bounce it one hand, but stolen by Sulemanov, who gets it to Gurren for the fast break. Oh, bro. Gurren tried bro. to dunk, but he is not, does not have the hops to do that. Cooper, corner, and that corner three from Kassin is good. Matt, so, I don't know about you, this is my first time calling. These headsets are really uncomfortable. I don't know if they are or not. Ooh, I thought that he could have gotten called for a kickball, but Shia picks it up. Shia to Kassin, tried to go for the alley-oop. Didn't get it off the rim. This is not okay. We got a three seed and a six seed. You can't be missing these shots like yeah. this. Ooh, Beton, layup no good, gets his own rebound, and he gets a scoring start. Or if I the score. that one in. It looks like for the Falcons, three guys are about to check in. Number two, Ricky Haddad. They haven't checked in yet. No, they're about to check in. But a three-pointer, no good. Picked up by David Beton. By David Beton. Solomon. Beton has it in the corner. He's double teamed. Gorin. Gorin loses it. Picked up by Cooper. That is a Cooper Caitlin takes Clark. it. Kayla Clark, Caitlin Clark, logo three. That was not even, that one to go. not, not even near the logo. Not even near the logo. Near the logo. <laughs> but like a deep, but, deep, deep three. I'm, I'm a little salty there. You stole my bit. You didn't let me finish. Yeah. Lamp goes. Air ball by Sali Gade, picked up by Eitan Sulemanov. Gorin, corner three, no good. As Ronnie Shia picks it up, Shia drives, can't get that layup to go. Bruh. Picked up by David Beton. David Beton, gonna try to do it oh, all himself. That Blocked is by Kassin. Nice block. Out of bounds and it'll stay with the storm. As Albert Kasky, David Batone is selling the bench. Got to keep me in. Albert Kasky 
Jacob Haddad and Ricky Haddad come in for Shia. Uh, for Shia, G'day, and uh, Cooper. And Cooper. Kasky steals that. Kasky gets it up to Haddad. Finally. And Darren Kasky gets that a nice feed from Jacob Haddad. Hirsch has it by half court. Sulemanov hands it off to hands it off to Gurin. Solomon. Solomon loses it. Keeps control of it. And that pass tried to get it to Aiden Gurin, but that was tipped by Albert Kasky, so it'll stay storm ball with 13 left to shoot. 435 left to here in the first half, or in the first, in the first quarter. Flatbush leads TABC by a score of 10 to 4. Nice move by nice Sulemanov. Nice move by Sulemanov. Tries to break his ankles. And they didn't even know what time it was on the shot clock. There's no one in the stands screaming it out. And just like that, it'll be Flatbush ball with 420 left. I'm sorry. Jacob has it. What a no look pass Gets there. Kaskin. Kaskin, no good. Picked up by Beton, stolen by Kasky. Kasky tried to get it to Jacob Haddad, but no, but he could not. Errant pass, and it'll be TABC's ball just like that. Someone's got to tell Haddad if you're going to shoot after the whistle, you got to at least make it. Just wanted to remind, me, remind you that this game is sponsored by Lake Como Pizza. Come to Como Pizza for some great pizza, pasta, salads, and even awesome breakfast options. We will be streaming the games in store, making it a great place to watch the games while you eat. Solomon, three-pointer, off the rim, picked up by Jacob Haddad. Jacob hands it off to Ricky. Kasky, Kasky, three-pointer, back iron. Picked up by Sulemanov. Gorin. Seems like Gurren just fakes out as many Haddad as he goes. off the rim. Hirsch put back. Second chance, no good. But he is fouled by Joseph Shama, so he'll head to the line to shoot two free throws. Matt, there's 127 people watching right now. Wow. <laughs> As Shia Hirsch, 100, 124 now though. As Shia Hirsch makes the first of two three free throws, want to receive Sarah Check news and updates and get post game alerts? Join our WhatsApp group. The link is in the description of this YouTube video. As Hirsch makes the second free throw, and so it'll be a 10-6 Flatbush lead. Haddad, three pointer, good. Nice shot by Joseph Haddad, or by Jacob Haddad. Gorin has it. Gives it off to Sulemanov. Sulemanov guarded by Ricky. Pitone has it. Starts to drive. Double fade team. Away. Fade away. Splash. Is, that fade away is good. Ricky gets to Jacob. Jacob has it up top. Jacob will try to shoot the three. And that one is nothing but net. Now Flatbush doubled up the lead on TABC. Leading by a score of 16 to 8 as Sulemanov what a pass. loses it, but gets it back to Solomon. Nice, nice no look behind the back pass. Wow, what a shot by Yaakov Solomon. Just a step back mid range jumper. That was not a step back mid range not jumper. A step back. That was a. Fade away, fade away turnaround. Yeah. yeah. Not step back to fade away. No, you know what I mean. No. I don't know basketball. Uh, it'll go out of bounds off Flatbush. 
TBC has the ball with 2.09 left to play in the first quarter. They are trailing by a score of 16 to 10. Sulmanov to Gurin. Three pointer by, Su by Sulmanov, no good. Flatbush picks it up. Kasky, jumper from the free throw line is good. That hair bopping up and down, very nice. Now Kasky's got some good flow, some lettuce. Sulemanov gets it to Solomon. Solomon back to Sulemanov. Sulemanov three pointer, back iron. Picked up by David Natkin. Natkin gets to Kasky. Kasky three from the wing is no good. Picked up by Shai Hirsch. Oh, and he loses it but gets regains possession quickly. Chucked up to. No, you can't be doing that. Gorin. You got. You got. You got didn't even look. Didn't even in. try to box out. No good. Flatbush has the ball. Natkin three. Four, that was five, tipped Solomon. by Solomon, but he'll get called for the. Nope. I thought they called a foul. It looked like the guys thought he was called a foul. Did you hear a whistle? No. Play through the whistle. Yep. Play till the whistle. Exactly. Exactly. You know, there was this semifinal floor hockey game in We're middle school. We're playing basketball, Lauren. We're playing Howell basketball. How about Hank? And Hank won because they because they played through the whistle. I know, but I'm still a hockey guy as David Bitone gets that floater to go. That is six points for David Bitone. Kasky, deep three, no good, grabbed by Sulemanov. 16 seconds left in the first quarter, shot clock on plug. Gorin, nice one-handed layup. Got 10 seconds. Oh, Gorin oh, steal! Steals it. Gorin puts oh, that back in. Oh, Jose Alvarado right there. It'll be a one-point game. I'm pretty sure I got it in, right? No. Haddad blocked by Gorin. And we'll send it to commercial as this concludes the first quarter. Get ready for five days of some of the best basketball of your life at the second annual year of the Ready to Ball League Camp. Join us in Teaneck, New Jersey at the end of June or in the five towns at the end of August. We're going to have Ryan Terrell be our head trainer for the second straight year alongside other amazing coaches and featured athletes like McDonald's All-American Dylan Harper. Use the promo code SARACHECK25 to get $25 off your registration and I look forward to seeing you this upcoming summer. The, the maturity level's there, they're locked in the whole time, so it, it's, it's a really good environment to get better. Arona Cohen didn't look at anyone but himself. Well, the best part about this is seeing these kids, how badly they want, how much better, how badly they want to get better. The older kids are realizing, like, if you want to play at a high level, you got to really work. Hashem gives us six days of the week to say, work your butt off, and then we give you a day to rest. So until then, we're going to bust our butt and deserve and earn our job this week. Focus, lock in, let's go. All right, so start of the second quarter, Flatbush leads TABC by a score of 18 to 17. I believe you have something to say, Matthew Lauren. I want to apologize. I, I miscorrected Zebby Panzer. He was right about the Jose Alvarado call. Uh, as Sammy Levine checks in, can't get that jumper to go, but Shia Hirsch is there for the putback. The Storm are rolling a combo on the floor of Avram Shore, Sammy Levine, Shia Hirsch, Hanan Schultz, and Yakir Adams as Adams comes down with that rebound as they just took a 19-18 lead off of that putback from Hirsch. Hirsch has it, being guarded by, Ka by Kassin. Now Schultz has it. Another wing loses it, regains, sure, has it. Hirsch down low, briefly lost it, but picked it up. Went right through his hands. Thank God he was there. Sure, loses it, grabbed by the bowling ball the pass, and he and he gets that to Shama. Bullet full court bowling ball pass. I mean, when was the last time you saw that? And that was a strike as someone lost their yarmulke and no one wants to claim it. And someone has claimed it. Yeah. Sh 
Schultz. To Levine. Levine. Gets it out to Schur. Schur has it by the wing. Gets it back to Adams. Adams. Guarded by Shama. Sure. Sure. Loses it. Good day picks it up. Sally Good day will take it himself All and he way. gets that layup to roll in. Timeout. TABC. This game is brought to you by NCSY Summer, the premier summer trip provider for Jewish teens across the world. With over 20 plus programs spanning the US, Israel, and Europe, NCSY Summer can find something for you. Visit summer.ncsy.org. I also want to remind you all to stay tuned for the Camp Step It Up halftime show. That'll come to you right, uh, that'll, obviously it'll come to you by, by halftime. We'd also like to thank Chopsticks for being a proud Max Live sponsor. For the best Chinese food in Teaneck, you've got to go to Chopsticks. Head to chopsticks chopsticksusa.com to order online. The link is in, this, in the description of this video. As TABC has the ball. Corner three from Hanan Schultz, no good. Picked up by Shore. Levine, back to Shore. Shore drive, Shore can't get that layout to go. Hirsch blocked by Benny Keita, who checked into the game for the first time for Flatbush. Maybe we can see some dunks from Mr. Keita as, as he comes in the game. Darren Kassin all alone under the basket. So Flatbush will take a 24 to 19 lead with Seems five. Seems like in. a four on five. They're trying to cherry five pick a bit. You know, Kassin is cherry picking. No, don't picking. dunk it, don't dunk it, don't dunk it. No, you Bro, have to wait till in game. You have to wait Odie. till it counts. Delay of game, Kassin. If I were TABC right now, I would play four on four offense to prevent yeah. the dunk. Yeah. As Sure loses it, but gets it. Nikir Adams. Blocked by Kata. Air ball blocked by that Kata. Was, that was not an air ball, it was blocked by Kata. Oh, I didn't see the block. Oh, no. And now Kassin slams it home. You could tell how badly he wanted that dunk, and finally he's getting back on defense. Sure, three-pointer, gets, gets that one to go, just a dart. Now it. Cutting the deficit to four. Ooh. Blocked by, I that? think that was Adams that blocked that as Gade tried to get an, get an alley-oop up to Kassin. Three-pointer from Schultz, no good. Now Adams will try a three of his own, no good, grabbed by Shama. Shia. Has it for Flatbush. Gets it to Kassin in the corner for a three. In and out. As Sammy Levine corrals it and he'll take it up. Levine. Nice work. Tried to get it all done on his own. No good. And TABC is going to get called for a loose ball foul, I think. As Shia takes a seat for Albert Kasky, Kato, and Gade are also are also taking seats for Flatbush. As Alan Anzarut and Jacob Badat are coming back in. That I, that was uncalled for. That shot right there. By, playing some basketball. Yeah. By Anzarut. If you're not able to score it, don't shoot it. Yeah. Also a junior, so not like it's his last game ever. Shama. Well, after that shot, it might be. Yeah. Dad off the rim. Offensive rebound by Kasky. Kasky, what a move to get that layup in. Levine breaks the press. And now Beton has it in the corner. Loses it. 
picked up by Flatbush. Andrew, Kaski, Kaski, oh, oh, oh. ooh, nope. Andrew could not get that one to fall in, but it'll stay with the Falcons. Shama what a to Andrew oh. under the hoop. It could not get that layup to fall, and Yakir Adams will pick it up for the for the storm. Oh, Shore oh. fakes out, but can't get that layup to go. Picked up by Joseph Shama. Finds Kaski by the wing. Kaski three pointer. Goes off the rim. Now Sure settles. Bounce pass to Betone. Betone. Jumper back iron. Joseph Shama comes up with it from the Falcons. If anyone's paying a track, paying attention to the score, I'm definitely not. Flatbush is leading by six. Ooh, another alley oop try. This time it was Anzer who tried to get it to. Kassin, no good. Adams, corner three. You hate no the, good off the I side. I don't know of what the, the refs court. are doing. They hit the top. It's got to be called. It was. Hit, it was. Hit it, the it, side. It's side. It hit the white. That's out of bounds. I thought I didn't think it was out of bounds, but whatever. No, I trust you. I trust you. Uh, as sure gets that lamp to go. And TBC just cut the deficit to four points, trailing by a score of 28 to 24 with a minute 57 seconds left. I guess that was just a sub timeout. It, well, that's all it was. Teddy Beta checking in for Flatbush. As well as Nakin in. Uh, Jacob Adad in. Anzrut and Kasky as TABC is rolling with the lineup of, of Shore. They did not make a substitution. Same five for TABC. Kasky, three-pointer no good, grabbed by Adams. Shore's pass tried to get it to Schultz, tipped, but he does get it over to Schultz in the corner, and he nails that three, and so it'll be a one-point Flatbush lead with a minute to go in the second half. Jacob Dad can't get that layup to go. Picked up by David Betone. Levine has it by the wing. Hands it off to Betone. Betone, nice post move. Oh, that's can't get hurt. that one to fall in. 39 seconds left in the second. Just about five seconds separating the shot clock. What and a the pass. Eight the only Stolen issue is by it wasn't to the right guy. I'm sure. Sure. Cross court pass to Schultz. Now Levine has it. Now Yakir Adams has it. Yakir Adams drives and gets that one to go. So TABC will take the lead with 15 seconds left in the half. I still don't understand why uh, that first game had to be uh, reset. Shot even clock. With, even with rest, it doesn't seem like we're getting any calls. Shot clock on plug. Three left in the game in the half. Kasky misses the three, picked up, and that'll do it for the first half. So TABC is leading Flatbush by a score of 29 to 28, and we'll be back for the Step It Up halftime show. Send it to commercials.
seconds. My name is Yogev Dugo, and I fell in love with basketball when I was 12 years old. Well, let me take you back to the beginning of Step It Up. A kid with hoop dreams. In seventh grade, played middle school ball, played high school ball. I wanted to be a Division I player. My friends were cynical about it. My teacher at school, my head of school. The dream became a reality. And as a little kid from Boca Raton, Florida, I ended up finding myself in Madison Square Garden. That only fueled more and more. And the dream became bigger. I transferred to Brandeis University in Boston, where I played two more years, before moving to Israel, playing a year of pro ball. And at 25 years old, two years later, I started stepping up. At the time, a basketball private training company. Remember the first session I ran, I was driving home and I just had goosebumps. I felt something. I said, this is it. And from that private training session, we grew more private trainings in a day camp where kids got better in a five-day program. So I said to myself, if kids are getting better in an hour and getting better in a week, let's start a sleepaway camp. Let's take them for six to eight weeks. It can make a real shift in their mind, a shift in their soul and their perspective. And that's what we did. I sit here with you 12 years later in 2023. We started with one kid in 2009. This summer, we're fortunate enough to host over 430 campers from 20 states and 10 countries. When I first started Step It Up, the intention was to run a high-end skill development camp. Little did I know, it would evolve into a life skills camp disguised as a basketball camp whose core principles are the same principles that I not only grew up on, but still live by to this day. Open heart, open mind. If you come in with the right attitude and you open your heart and mind, we can make tremendous progress. Attention to detail, on the court and off. Live passionately, because what else is there? The way you do anything is the way you do everything. Whatever you choose to do in life, do it all the way. Action above all. Don't talk about it, be about it. Experiences over materialism. It lasts much longer and it's more real. Good breeds good. Be good to yourself and be good to one another. Game speed, game life. We train with a focus and intensity on the court, which turns practice into a game and the game into a practice. We work hard, we play hard, we step it up. These principles are beyond basketball. We use basketball as a vehicle for growth and success. And the results, well, they speak for themselves. Countless number of middle school and high school MVPs. Over 60 college players, division one, two, and three. Professional players, national team players, a EuroLeague Rookie of the Year, an NBA draft pick, and over 5,000 families, all of whom have stepped it up. We have a love for the game, timeless principles that guide us, a state-of-the-art campus, engaged coaches. We have the results. The choice is simple. It's time to step it up. Just want to remind you that this game is brought to you by Camp Step It Up, located in upstate New York, with busing provided to and from camp. Camp Step It Up is the most proven Shomer Shabbos basketball camp in the world, featuring 33 current Sarachek players and over 400 past Sarachek players, as well as YU and Stern College stars over the past 12 years. There are programs for boys and girls, grades 4 through 12, including 1 through 7 week options in both the U.S. and Israel. 
There are three minyanim a day, learning groups, and a camp rabbi. Past campers include many Yeshiva League MVPs, over 60 college players, and an NBA draft pick. For more information, email office at campsteppitup.com, call 888-600-0908, or visit timetosteppitup.com. Matt, I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. Me too. I've gotten nine hours of sleep over the past two days, which is definitely more than you, I assume. No, it's less. That That's crazy, but uh, I've been at, like, every game. Yeah. Tiring. It's, this is, like, six days already. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Shabbaton was lit. Sunday. Now today. And Kushner has won the toilet bowl. As Flatbush has the ball to start. Bounce past the Shama. That's good. Nice feed by Ronnie Shia. Lomanov gets it under to Gurin. Can't get the first one to go. Now Beton has it. Beton muscles his way through and banks in the layoff. Matt, I don't know about you if you've been seeing the social media content that Max Live is producing. But one of the questions was, uh, as uh, Isaac Cooper scores a three, one of the questions was, uh, what's your favorite emoji? You got a favorite? I think the brick emoji. What's yours? It says a lot about your personality. What's yours? A big thumbs up guy. Yeah. No, thumbs up's classic. But like the... Uh, like Requires the much less uh, typing. Yeah. No, I use the thumbs up motion obviously a lot. Like everybody does. That's classic. Felt like I had to pick something other than that. As Shama, corner three, wide open, no good. Picked up by Eitan Sulemanov for TABC. Solomon gets it to Beton. Beton tries to get it down low to Gorin, but gets stolen by Flatbush. Cooper, three pointer, no good. Picked up by Sulemanov. Gorin, three-pointer, in and out, picked up by Beton, and can't get that second chance to go. Third chance he gets in. This is probably Beton's best game of his career. He's got eight points. I'm not sure about how the rest of his career went, but it seems like he's doing good tonight. Deep three-pointer from Sam Jamal is no good, but he gets his own rebound. And now, Solly Gaudet, three-pointer, no good. Tie game, 33. 33 up, six minutes left in the third quarter. As Gorin has it by the wing, shoots the three, Automatic. nothing but net. Automatic. He's got a little nice headband also. As a Deep three-pointer by Shia, no good. Now Jamal, corner three, in and out. Picked up by TABC, that's Beton with another rebound. Oh, and it's stolen by Sally Gaudet as he tried to get it to... Finally, the refs. I think the refs, uh, that's the first call in, in a while. I think Yalganauer would have uh, called a bit more. Yeah. As Beton gets called for the foul there. TBC up three now. Two and a half minutes gone in the third quarter. Ricky dead. Ricky gets to Kasky. Kasky hands it off. Back to Ricky. Now Jacob at the wing. Settles. Back to Ricky. Ricky three-pointer. He just falls on purpose. No good. Uh, I think he's trying to show the refs he did not get fouled, but... Jacob gets that three to fall in, though, so it'll be a tie game once again. Gorin drives, and that one falls in. I feel like this game's got a bit of a NBA All-Star game vibes. Like, no one cares, having fun. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. As you see, that, 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 that's a logo. That's a that's logo, a logo three. three right there. Yeah. Like from the half court line. That, like also, that, hit, that also hit the top. Yeah. Don't know why that was not called. We just need Mel here. That's the real bit. I don't know who Mel is, but go on. As he finally hits the Curry look away. 
Nice shot by Aiden Gordon to give the Storm a five point lead. Kasky, three pointer. Can't get that one to go. Sulemanov drives his way in. Sulemanov on Friday. TABC in overtime. The stream broke down. No one got to see his uh, fade away for the, for the winning shot. No. It's pretty Very tough. upsetting. Very upsetting. Blame Luck why YU needs to fix their Wi-Fi. Luckily, uh, Matt, you can't insult why you were paying for uh, our stream. No, no, no. Uh, luckily, uh, one of our social media people got a video of that, and we got it to him. I was making, I was making a joke there. I was making a joke there. It was nothing more than a joke. Shia to Cooper. Cooper for the three-pointer. The other day, I was kind of doubting uh, Cooper's 90, 99 three-point rating, but he's deserving that tonight, this morning. Yeah. Betone, three-pointer. Let's go. That's how many points, Peter? That's how many darts. points is that for Betone? That's 15 points. Oh, uh, and Kasson tried to go up for another dunk, but can't get that one out to of the go. game. Sub him out of the game. You can't be missing dunks like that. Oh, and Gaudet has the steal. Picked let's up see by this. Let's see this. And now, oh ooh, my, get he, tried, he get couldn't slam it home either. Get him out of the game. Oh. Gorin could not get that three to go. And now G'day that, takes that it up nice. on his own. That was very nice. Yeah. So now he cut the deficit to seven. Oh. Salomon, and that one goes clearly up and they, by the they, sixth they defender. They realized that it hit the top this time. Yeah. Finally realized. Shia tries to get the Shama down low, but he gets it to Cooper. Cooper. Green. That is, you know what green means in 2K? Yeah. That means you automatically yep. make it. Cooper's been greening all of his threes. How many points is that for Cooper? Betone three off the rim, but Hirsch is right there. Hirsch, way to fight, way to stay with the ball. Gets it to Sulemanov for the three. As Chai is a bit Chai is a little bit banged up, but it looks like he's staying in the game. With 2.07 left in the third, TABC leads Flatbush by a score of 51 to 44. Just a reminder that all Sarachek games that are being played at Yeshiva University will be broadcast on MaxLive.com and the MaxLive YouTube channel. Subscribe to MaxLive on YouTube and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single Sarachek broadcast. Aiden in the corner, he wants it. He's wide open. Sulmanov gets Sulmanov gets that floater to go. Good day. Cooper. Cooper baseline drive. Now back out to Good day in the corner. Back iron. Got a little bit too much on it. Shama got the rebound. Gets it over to... Good day and good day banks in that layup. Gurren just hands up. He just wants it. You're not giving it to him. Solomon double teamed. Intercepted by Cooper. Off the backboard, Get off the backboard. Get it to Gade. Oh, oh, he, oh, oh wow. What, Solly Gade tried to feed it off the backboard to Darren Cassidy. He is just not having his night when it comes to slamming things home. We need in if we want some real dunks. Why hasn't Keita gotten in at all? He did. But for like two minutes. Shia can't get that three to go. Cass in mid-range, no good. Now Shia Hirsch. I, doubt, I, don't, I don't believe it. Ooh, oh, he got wow. It to go. He got it to go. That, was pre that would be a goal, call the goaltending in any single game. Yeah. Besides this one. Yeah. Nevertheless, he still got it to go in. 19 seconds left in the third quarter. 
as Shama lays that one in off of a feed from G'day. And so TABC takes a 55 to 48 lead in the final seconds of the third quarter. Sulamat, that's good, that's good. Off, three pointer, oh. no good. So it'll be a 55-48 TABC lead heading into the fourth quarter. And you know what the best thing about these games are? What? They end early. Yeah, and we'll no send it. No calls. Yeah. And we'll, we're going to send it to commercial. What happens at a typical day at RTB? You show up and you hear an awesome schmooze for 30 minutes by Rabbi Avi Rosalimsky and Ryan Terrell about a Jewish topic related to basketball. After that, you come into the gym for three hours of skill-focused training. Each hour is 55 minutes of training and then a five-minute break. Within the hour, we focus on one specific area of your game, and over the course of five days, we touch on all areas. To cap off the day, you have one league game, and then you go home after an awesome day at RTB. Control room. Okay, start of the fourth quarter. TABC is leading Flatbush by a score of 55 to 48. We'd like to thank Dougie's for being a proud Max Live sponsor. For the best barbecue and grill in Teaneck, make your way to Dougie's. Go to Dougie'sBarbecue.com to order. The link is in the description of this video. Flatbush. Cooper, three-pointer, no good. That's his first miss in a while. Picked up by Hirsch. All right, so finally we can get some dunks in this game with Kata in. Yeah. Kata took Kassin as the floater from sure cannot, does not go. We see some Kata. I don't know if Kata ever shot a three this year, but uh, I, lo I, I love those center three-pointers. Oh, they're so nice. They're so satisfying. Good day. Gets it down low. Kata out to Cooper. Kata finds Good day down low. Oh, First right. chance, no good. Second chance. Let the chance. boys play. Let's and not get these fouled. fouls. Also, want to remind you that for behind the scenes pictures and content that you won't find anywhere where else, be sure to follow at MaxLive on Instagram and Twitter. And Max Live is, home, is your home for the tournament. Watch games, news, stats, and more at maxlive.com. M A C S L I V E.com. Maxlive.com. Your home for the Red Saracek tournament. As G'day makes one of two. Putback opportunity by Shamma in and out. TBC will have the ball. Levine drives off the backboard, picked up by Hirsch. Sure. Gets two guys to bite. And Adams lays it in. That is deep. Nope. Deep three from Cooper. That hit the wire. Back that should have been yeah, out. That, that should have been uh, out of bounds. Adams working his way, muscling through. Finds Levine, pull up that jumper, is, no good, but he gets fouled. Yeah. Stack guys want me to mention that uh, uh, number. Shia, Her Shia Hirsch has 18 rebounds. Shia Hirsch has 18 rebounds. It's a lot. That. No one looked at the rebounds, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> As Sammy Levine misses the first of two three, three throws. And now Darren Kasson is coming back in for Benny Keita. Espe especially in this game. What's 18 rebounds? Yeah. Hirsch hits that the kid second for, That kid from Montreal could have had 18 rebounds last yeah. night. I also just want to come on here and say that there are a few things in this world that are bigger than basketball. But I need to ask a special favor of everybody watching this game. 
go to the description of this YouTube video and click on the OU link. Complete the form to send a letter to President Biden. We need to put pressure on the White House to intervene in the hostage situation. The OU will be delivering 180,000 signed letters to the White House on this Wednesday. Click the link in the description of this video and fill out the form. Thank you. As Gaday lays it in, and that'll make it a five-point game. Oh, they took Al-Qaeda. Yeah. It's not good for viewership, man. No, it's not. We, we need, want Benny Kata. We need, we, need, we, need, we need to get some clips. Adams finds Hirsch down low, and Hirsch gets it to fall in. Cassin. Out to Shama. Shia. Thinks about driving, says no. Cassin finds Shama in the paint, no good. Picked up by Sammy Levine. Matt, you see those uh, trophies in the corner? Yeah. Um, have you ever got have you ever gotten a trophy in your life? <laughs> yeah. Alright, good. You I happen to have won uh, MVP of uh, base of softball in Simcha Day Camp back in the day. Wow. Two time MVP. I got most fifth and sixth grade. Got most improved senior year for hockey, and I got. I won a couple of championships. What, what was the award again? Most improved for hockey senior year. Although it was COVID year, so it was different. Were there any games played that year? Yes. All right, just making sure. As Kastke comes back in for Ronnie Shia. Solid good day. Can't get that one to fall. And he steals it from Adams. Question, the real question is, do you still have them Who's out in your bedroom? Like, No. No, you put them in the closet? Yeah. I also moved the summer before Sean Olive, so it's not so it's not push it. You got to keep them out forever. Lifelong memories. Yeah. Kasky. Got to put them right next to Sparn. Yeah. Cooper can't get that deep three to go. Negadeo will hold it. About halfway through the fourth quarter as Kassin hits a long two. And that'll make it a 61-55 game for TABC. Putting the deficit to six. Now Schultz, baseline drive. Can't, can't put that one up. Schultz, two, good. Why are you calling a timeout? Oh, subs, okay, that's fine. Sub timeout. As Solomon, Betone, and Gorin come in while Schultz, Schur, Adams, and Levine come in. Uh, Sulemanov also comes back in. The only guy staying out there is Hirsch. As Sally Gaday lays that one in. Solomon tries to get a Suleiman off, stolen by Kasky. Kasky lays that easy one in. Gorin, double teamed by Kasky and Kasky. He just gave it to the other guy. But he just passed it right to Joseph Chapa. Yes. What are you doing? Jacob Haddad. Absolutely rejected by Eitan Sulemanov. So the ball stay with Flatbush, trailing by a score of 69-53 with 3:01 left to play. Kasky in the corner stops, gets to good day, good day, three pointer back iron, grabbed by Sulemanov. Solomon corner three. That also hit the top. That also hit the top, but I'm, 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 I'm not complaining. Flatbush, I'm not Flatbush, complaining. Flatbush came up with it anyway. Why stop the game at this point? Uh, Gaday lays that one in, it's close making game a two-point game. Another long pass stolen by Kasky. Kasky 
Gets it into G'day, and he gets whacked by Shia Hirsch, and he'll head to the line to shoot I, I think they should have let them play. Let them play through it. You know, they only... Just stat padding at this point. Yeah, this is, what it, this is all it is. Dale shoot the two. Chance to tie it up here with 2.18 left. Hits the first one as David Natkin takes Darren Kasson. Uh, if this game goes to overtime, Matt, I'm walking off. Yeah. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors. We'd also like to thank all of our sponsors. If you'd like to become a Max Life sponsor, email us at yumaxlive at gmail.com or DM us on Instagram or Twitter. As G'day tied up the game, Kasky another steal. Kasky can't get that lamp to fall. And they ruled it out on Flatbush. So TBC will get the ball with 2.10 left to play. Someone's got to score. No good. Shama no good, grabbed by Hirsch. Another rebound for the for the Bucks. Stolen by Natkin. Now Kasky has it. Out to G'day. Solly G'day. Out to Natkin. David Natkin now gets it. Kasky. And he gets Kasky gets it. Stuffed. Obliterated. By Shia Hirsch. With a minute 23 left to go. Sulemanov. Kicks it out to Gorin in the corner. Gorin, corner three, no good. Hirsch with the rebound, and he puts it back in. Also, just want to remind you that after the game ends, be sure to stay tuned for the Yachad postgame show, as we will be interviewing the stars of the game. As there are 55 seconds left no, to no. go. Someone's got to score. As... Solly G'day. As Solly G'day hits it to tie up the game. Let's send it to commercial for 30 seconds. Thousands worldwide choose Israel for their gap year. Massah has opportunities for interning, studying, volunteering, and exploring throughout the country. Doing an internship on gap year, I learned all these skills that no kid who hasn't gone to uni is supposed to know yet. My experience at Massah learning about Judaism and Israel is going to help me take those values into my future, into college, and then bring them into the rest of my life. Now, more than ever, this is your time to explore Israel, explore who you are on your Massah gap gap year.
What does it mean to be yourself? It's being bold. It's having heart. I know that I have a responsibility and a platform uh, to shed light on the Jewish community as a whole. This is the professional debut for Ryan Terrell. He's trying to be the first ever Orthodox Jew to play in the NBA. But most of all, it's being proud and wearing it. Clipped helped Ryan's fans show their pride. Let us help you spread the pride at your school with your own hassle-free merch shop. Contact Clip today for your free consultation. Never be afraid to be who you are. All right, I'll tell you when. Go, you're good, you're good. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Yachad Hello. Post Game Show, brought to you by Yachad. TABC has just beaten not? Flatbush by a score of 67 to 66, and now let's send it down to Yosef Bluth with an, for an interview with Kanan Schultz and Shia Hurt. I'm here with two of the guys from TABC. What's your guys' name? I'm David Bitton. I'm Shia Hurt. David Bitton. How are you guys feeling after that game? I mean, obviously we'd rather win yesterday, but you know what? We made the best of our situation and we won today, so we'll, we'll take it. Obviously, I agree we could have been better in the whole tournament, but we both got to show out this game. We both had fun. We beat Flatbush, which is great for us. Um, yeah, we had fun. We'll take it. We'll take it. Are you guys planning to stick around and watch the rest of the games today? Support any of your friends over in the other games? Of course. We got to watch the championship game, EULA MDY. It's a must watch game. Guys, tune in, Max Live, for sure, if you can't make it. But yeah, we, we're definitely staying for that. Who are you guys rooting for? Obviously, EULA. I mean, we lost to MDY, but at the same time, it's kind of cool that like the only team that beat us just happened to be the championship team if they won. So. Do you guys have anyone you want to give a quick shout out to while you're on the mic? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. I just want to shout out my dad, who's come to all my games this year, even though I haven't really played that much. But, you know, it paid off because now he got to watch me play a little bit. And I'm happy that I have him behind me. You, Shia? I just want to shout out my parents, my biggest supporters, always pushing me to do my best. You know, without them, I wouldn't be anywhere. Sure. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Fantastic tournament. All right, thank back you, Yosef. To you guys at the desk. All right, thank you, Yosef. Uh, just want to remind you that up next we have the Tier Three Championship game between Coop between the Kohelet Kings and the Cooper Yeshiva Max. Don't go anywhere, and well, we'll, gotta, be, we'll be back soon. Got to go on a different street.